Hey, welcome back to Guitar Discoveries. I'm excited to share with you more about wireless freedom for you as a guitarist, both in the studio and on stage. Recent development from Line 6, many of you know I've endorsed this Relay G10 wireless guitar system, which is really a phenomenal plug and play, it just works kind of a wireless system. 24 bit pristine audio. I actually have used it on stage for almost two years now. And in the studio, I was shocked to find that I could use it in the studio and the fidelity from any guitar was as good, yes, as good as anything that using a cable direct in. But here's the news. Ta-da, the Relay G10S. Now, I don't know what they think the S stands for. For me, this stands for stage. And the key to this is that they've added a few features to push this into a professional stage ready kind of a product that fits in your guitar pedal board. So the minute I saw this, this was introduced at NAMM 2019. As soon as I saw it, I thought, I gotta get one of those. And here was the concept for me. This becomes the live stage rig and then the regular Relay G10 becomes a permanent fixture in the studio, always plugged in and ready to go. Pretty cool. Smiling at the sun show on the water Feel so happy I'm gonna sail away Let's look at the regular Relay G10 first. This is the unit that I have now permanently installed in my studio rig, so it's always ready to go. You can just take the transmitter and move it from guitar to guitar as you record different instruments. Very convenient, no cords draped across your studio, it's pretty awesome. So here are the, some of the points that they tout about this. They say it's a 2.4 gigahertz digital guitar wireless system with a rechargeable transmitter. That's key. Automatic channel setup, just plug and play. There are no channel settings on the regular G10. Uh, recharge the transmitter by docking it on the receiver, up to eight hours of playing time, 200 hours of sleep time per charge, 50 foot range indoors, no pop audio mute, only passes audio when the transmitter is fully plugged in. That is a very cool feature, by the way, when you unplug, you don't get any of that clicking and buzzing that you normally do with a cable. So it's pretty cool. If you forget to tell your engineer, or if you're the engineer, if you forget to turn down the volume, no problem. So a standard Relay G10, right now you can find them online for somewhere south of 200 bucks. I'm seeing for like 180 is a typical number. One problem with the regular G10 for a stage rig was that it could only be powered by USB and it required a, a decent amount of wattage. So you had to use this clunky wall wart type of plug, connect it with kind of a thick USB cord over to the device. Just not ideal. You certainly wouldn't want to put it on the ground. Uh, you know, I had mine in a, in a road case next to my mixer, but just, it was never ideal. It always kind of bothered me. The new unit is designed to go in a pedal board. So it's much more rugged, metal construction instead of plastic. Uh, it has its own nine volt power supply. Little bit of a wall wart, but not bad. Way less than the previous unit. So again, much nicer for stage use. So it can go on a pedal board, it can go near a PA, whatever you want, but it's made of metal, so it's much more durable. There's some other things that they're touting about this. It has a 130 foot range in line of sight. That's a lot more than the regular G10 was talking about. Automatic or manual frequency selection. Now, does that matter? Well, I'll be honest, for me, I've been using this thing on stage for about two years now. I've never had a situation where I was getting any kind of noise or radio frequency interference. And I live in the Bay Area where there's a ton of RF. 
So the fact that it was always able to select its own channel and do it perfectly is pretty awesome. That said, why not have the ability to do a frequency selection manually? That's a great additional feature that really brings it up to a more professional level. Uh, balanced XLR, DI, and quarter inch outs. I'll show you, put both of the back panels on. You can see how simple the G10 back panel is compared to the G10S. Definitely more back there. Uh, but as they say, no setup required with either of these. Both of them use the same transmitter, a G10T transmitter. If you need to replace that, if, if you're using the battery up over and over and over again and it's not holding a charge the way you want to after a few years, you can buy a new transmitter for basically a hundred bucks. So that's really nice to know. So I'm excited about the new Relay G10S because it is the perfect complement to the Relay G10. Again, this one is going in my studio, always at the ready. This one is going in my stage rig. So just think Relay G10S for stage. Uh, this one, you're gonna find the price is significantly higher, probably about $70 higher, somewhere around $250. It's just introduced now. You know, the price will eventually go down, but right now it's at $250. Still a bargain for what this thing is. Obviously, Line 6 offers higher end, more complicated, more professional, longer range type of wireless systems. But for the vast majority of us who play sort of real world human scale gigs, these things are awesome. So there's your guitar discovery for the day. Wireless guitar freedom, now in two delicious flavors. Relay G10 and the G10S, uh, both available from Line 6. I do wanna make it clear. I do not get paid or get any kind of a break for talking about these products. These are just my own feelings and opinions. I love these things. I've used other wireless products that don't perform anywhere near this well for a much higher price. So these babies are really reliable and pretty darn amazing. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you'll subscribe. Uh, go over to the website at guitardiscoveries.com. I've got all the videos posted there. I've got a bunch of music over there and other things. I hope you'll check some of that out. Love to share things with you. Please do comment. If you have experience with wireless systems, if you've tried these or tried other models that you love, uh, tell me about it in the comments. Uh, really do want to know what you guys are wanting and, and listening to and using out there. All right. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you next time.